What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be painting this top water metal winged fishing lure. Now I had picked up these blanks a while back and when I got them I was very very excited to paint them but I was kind of stumped and stuck scratching my head on how in the world I was going to clear coat them without the wings getting stuck to the bait. Some of you are either currently scratching your head as well or you are laughing at me but do not worry I figured it out. All you got to do is take a little pair of pliers these hook ties unscrew and this whole little metal part falls out. It comes right out of there. Whenever I reassemble these later, I will probably put a little bit of super glue or something down inside the screw hole just to prevent it from coming out on its own. But that, my friends, is how you take that apart in order to paint and or clear coat the fishing lure. Now, I haven't seen too many of these blanks, so if you guys are wanting some, you can pick them up at Barlow's Tackle. I will have them linked in the description below. Two things I wanted to point out though real quick, if you get a batch of these and you de-wing all of them, Make sure you get a reference photo or keep one still assembled. That way you put the wings on correct uh, whenever you reassemble it because that would be a shame to glue it in and then the wings backwards and the bait don't work properly. Another thing that I did to this bait prior to us painting it today is there is no texture or anything going on. It's just a very glassy smooth lure body. So I took a 600 grit sandpaper and gave the whole bait a nice little sanding in that which will allow our clear coat to stick later as well. Today's pattern is going to be a pretty simple one, only using four different colors. The color we're going to be starting off with is a Wicked Colors Wicked Aluminum, and I'm going to give the whole bait a nice coat in that. I'm not going to worry too much about building up the paint up top here because we're going to be covering that in some dark colors later, but the belly, I want it to be nice and sparkly, but still kind of transparent. So we will be coming back later and doing a nice red on the belly. However, we will be using a stencil pattern and sometimes I like to wait to do the final color on the belly in case I scratch it with the little clamps that holds the stencil on. So with that said, our next color is going to be a transparent black. And the game plan here with the black is to basically cover the entire side of the bait here. I still want that belly to show silver and then our other color later. So I'm probably going to bring it down to about where the little opening is. So We'll do the whole back of the bait, the side of the bait, and come on down right into here and work our way back up to this back hook tie. For the stencil pattern, we're going to be using this piece of fabric, which actually came off of my old lunchbox. But I'm going with this one because the fabric in between is pretty thick. So our scale pattern of the black should show through pretty strong. So I'm gonna get that strapped on. And with our stencil in place, we're going to take this pearlized satin gold, and we're going to be spraying right on top of the black. So again, I'm going to kind of leave the bottom of the bait where that silver is or that aluminum color. I'm gonna leave that alone, but everything that's black, we're going to give a nice thick layer of the pearlized satin gold. I should say, instead of a thick layer, we're going to do two nice thin controlled layers. And with the stencil still in place, we're going to take some pearlized red. I'm gonna add a little splash of it, uh, kind of right below the eye over to where this opening is. We'll hit it right in this area on the belly and then kind of let the overspray carry up in between the eye and the opening for the wing. And with the red still loaded up in the airbrush, 
I'm going to add a nice little strip of it right down the center of the bottom of the bait. That way, since it's a topwater bait, the fish will see something besides just silver. And we're gonna hit the nose of the bait here pretty good with it as well. All right, and the last thing we've got to do to this bait is finish it off some nice vertical stripes and along with darken it up around the eye and the back of the bait. Now, there's two ways we can do this. One, we can use something like this comb to give us some vertical stripes. We can freehand the vertical stripes or we can also use one of my stencils I have. I think for this bait in particular though, I'm gonna go with some free-handed stripes. Hopefully I don't screw it up. This is a pretty delicate maneuver. So we will start with a nice stripe between the eye socket and the opening for the wing. Now I'm not going black black with these, but just adding a nice haze, kind of darkening up some of that satin gold. I think we might go with a partial one right above the opening there. And there we go. Four and a half stripes on that side and four and a half stripes on that side. To clean everything up and tie it all together, I'm going to darken up the back, kind of have it fade into where those stripes are. And we'll give a nice splash of black around the eye socket. All right, last thing before clear coat that we gotta do is glue in some eyes. And the ones I've got picked out are these deep orangish red, which matches our pattern pretty good. We'll dab the glue. And once the clear coat goes on, it's really gonna make all these colors more saturated and make them pop quite a bit. So there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to get this bad boy clear coated and then get it reassembled. And we will come back and take a look at what it looks like all finished up.